party of the big men up front. Taylor Meloy is always a threat. And Alex Samoa is capable of producing something special. Alongside me, former All, -All Black Sevens captain Carl Tanana. And Carl, the last six matches has been win-loss, win-loss. Samoa are due for a win. Well, they need some consistency. I know their coach, Gordon Titchens, has been the architect of the PTN down for many vacations for New Zealand on this occasion. For me, I think this Samoa team got a threat in Fiji physically, so they're going to keep it close, go up the middle of the park, whereas Fiji, well, they're going to be much of the same play fast, use their offloads and spread the field. And one thing we know with these two nations, Willie, it's going to be physical. There is the match official, Richard Kelly out of New Zealand, one of the more experienced players. Uh, referees rather now we're underway PG in the white some are in the blue these two sides have had some trem tremendous battles over the years in particular that great era of Samoan rugby in 20 2007, 2008, right through to 2010, one and into the contact. First of all goes uh, Tiller Mieloy, not the captain here in Vancouver because Afayono, he will start from the bench, but Samoa making a good fist of this just to get ball in hand and then ask some questions, but uh, pops the ball up, gone forward marginally but Samoa shown some real creativity early in this match yeah just trying to create those one-on-one -on -one mismatches weren't they it was a nice little step in the pop-up unfortunately just gets lost in the transfer by Lafayette but a real threat the four for Samoa there was Samoa Talor looking for that inside pass and he doesn't need a second invitation can score a try 78 tries 12 goals 400 points for the Samoan flyer Crouch. Talofa to those of you watching Five. in Samoa. Nisa Bula. Six. To our friends throughout the beautiful islands of Fiji. For chance for the Fijians with ball in hand and two wide. Takes it to the line and then loops around, but they throw it out for the captain, Kalini Sal. Back into the midfield with a big boppers are standing. Speaking of the big boppers, here comes one of them through Nasoko. Ball out the back. Fiji with a real chance here. Vaat goes in, claims the penalty and gets it. Looked anonymous here, and hopefully, Fiji's young start, Kunavula, who's injured on the far side, is good to go. But here it is, just a big man. Nasoko was going through, lowering that big shoulder. Good bit of footwork put on there by Domolola. Unfortunately, it's a poor player, just a second too slow. Samoa 13th on the series. They won Paris in 2016. They lost the qualifiers in the Olympics. and. I can forget them being serious champs in 2009 season. They've been here, Carl, about an hour and a half before the tours opened and before the game started, the Fijian supporters. Oh, yeah, it's been brilliant. Heavily supported here. There's across the world. Now they get a chance. The lovely footwork from Raubo with those beautiful, nice boots. And now they've got an overlap here, Fiji. On the rampage, Fiji. Vidi Vidi was on the left-hand side. They didn't use him, and now Kolinisau clears out the ruck. Vidi Vidi gets it wide. Fiji. Now Bobo loops around. Will he get the ball back? Good defence from Samoa. Great turnover by Ba as well. Young player in Fiji with a chance with ball in hand. Now some numbers here, Fiji. Samoa, rather, on the attack. Samoa on the attack. Ba with who started it. Jerry Tuwai makes a critical tackle and the ball lost forward and there's an injured Sorry. player from Samoa You're way back in the two. Penalty only. Thank you. High tackle. Come back. What happened to that breakdown? I High think tackle. it might be Bar, which will be huge for Samoa. He's in jersey number four. Takes it to deck. Comes up with it. Just does it twist wrong or something? Oh, it might be his shoulder. Does not look good. tell you a nice piece of sportsmanship this is what you love about these two nations is that they battle it out and one of the Fijian players has stayed with them the whole time he's just running back to position now is it our volleyball and there's the round of applause there he is round of applause coming in he stayed with the injured player the whole time that's unbelievable it's something bigger than rugby isn't it these teams play live train all together
of Avovo back in the starting lineup for Fiji. So integral in that playmaker role. The Samoan team, Willie, what I, what I really like about the start of this half with them, not getting intimidated, they're actually playing it's good rugby. See, even spreading the ball of broken Fiji on a couple of occasions. And here's Ravovo just making sure Va'a is okay. As you said, play was going on in the background. He could have left him and played on for his team, but this is bigger than that. That is great sportsmanship between these two proud nations. Va'a clearly in trouble, and so Vatemu Ravovo said, forget about the game. I want to make sure this guy's okay. Well, the thing is, too, Willie, he is moving around, so hopefully it's not too bad for him, the young man, Rafael Vaho, who's been brilliant over the last couple of tournaments. Some have really started to come into his own. Well, you were here last year, Carl, where they packed out the stadium. Another 75,000 will come through. This is special. I'll tell you that Jumbo Tron special. I wouldn't mind one of those in my bedroom or anywhere in the house. Argentina and Wales. This pool is wide open. Wales defeating Argentina, Argentina defeating Samoa, Fiji winning their first game against Wales. So, somewhat the pool of death as well. And time for some sweet Caroline. On. A nice story as well, too. And the player is up and walking off. But Sweet Caroline was Tanya Dalton's favourite song, and they played it when they were carrying the coffin out last week in England. As we said, just going carrying off under his own seat. That is very great. Good to see. Yeah, and now we're back to the action as well. Nil all. Three and a half gone in the match, somewhat inside the red zone of Fiji. Nice run as well there from all parties, big and strong. As the count is Manukau. Not too many players from New, from New Zealand, but he's one of them. He's a good one, and now the captain comes on. In fact, that's Va is replaced by Matunga, who's come on. Samoa still in control in the midfield, and there's a head clash there. Another injured player for the Samoans, they tap. And referee says play on. Here comes Samoa with a real opportunity. Player out wide. They get it to Samoa Tala. The dive looked good. Is this the first try? Might be a great bit of defense. It looked like he well, got it down initially. Just from the naked eye. Do you, was he out? Do you want us to yeah. check? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think it's the same side because it was close. We just want to know if the player's in touch. First, please. Samoa Tala. Assistant referee in great position. No Bobo is the one. Nothing wrong with the challenge. He's going for the ball. Oh, yes, sir. He caught it, Willie. Try number 79 in his career. Second in Vancouver. The feet are up. No problem with that. All the ball being grounded. This should be the green light for Samoa. Samoa Tolo gets another one for the money. But look at this pass, the inside dummy. And then on the money is Tila Mieloy. He is starting to rip it up to play for Samoa. Wow, well, difficult angle here to try and convert inside the stadium. Try and curl around. What a start for the men in the blue shirts. Tila Mieloy gets it, gets it nice and high. Tremendous atmosphere here in the stadium on day one. And Samoa go on the attack again. But the New Zealand referee said that the ball was lost forward. Jeez, I think it was Vidi Vidi who passed the ball back. There's the indiscretion. It was actually knocked on by a Samoan player, hence why we had to, to come back. Vidivity 
was read well by Alex Samuel coming through anticipating Crouch. the pass. Olivier has made for Samuel, but they won't be worried about that. They're in the right end of the field, but they're going to have a, have a Fine. big defensive set here. Jerry too white Set. That is debut on the Gold Coast in 2014 as your halfback with a Volvo first receiver. And here he comes. I see it got Lenny Sal. They get it out to where the speed is and very, very nothing happening down this left hand flank and so they'll go back towards where the big boppers the big boys and the forwards are standing here comes Nasoko into the contact he goes counter ruck is good from Samoa maybe the turnover from Matunga to ruck plus you must yeah. stay up you've lost your feet two I wants to get on with the game again into where Rovovo Colini so so much experience there between those two players now Vidi Vidi comes back on the angle. Samasoni Vidi Vidi, another offload. Kunavuna with some footwork into the heavy traffic he goes, loses the ball forward, and here comes Samoa inside their own 22. Danny Kays has done one well to get back. There should be no advantage, but the referees just play on. And this is why Sevens is such a great game. Play on. The advantage will come at some stage, and now they have the advantage, Samoa. And a little bit of space down the right-hand flank. Back from Alex Samoa. Big hit there, and now Asia Kolisau, the captain, brings Fiji back. He is such a great warrior, Asia Kolisau. Kolisau, first try here, 115th in his career. And he puts himself in great position because he's such a good reader of the game, Kolisau. This is where... We just see the finishing off of this Fijian team, but it was the intercept, Tila Mieloy, who to call out the back right there. Goes it straight to a Fijian player, and then the offload to, to Osea Kalini Sal. They had to work hard for it, but they got the job done. There is the pass from Tila Mieloy. One of the most impressive players for Fiji is this young Misulami Kunavula. You picked it, Carl. Mentioned him last week on a number of occasions in Vegas. She has a lot of maturity for a young man. And there's one of the more experienced faces on the HSBC Sevens World Series. Seven gone. We're all tied up. It's five all. Gareth Baber, the Fijian coach, spoke about lifting the tempo, speed the game up. I think that's where some more have been effective. They've been able to play the game at their pace because they've had position. But Gordon Titchen spoke about keeping in your threes. One player take it into contact. You've got to have a bridge of their close. So the Fijians can't touch the ball and get their heart back there quickly and move it. Some of the stats in front of us that we can share with you. 11 tackles each Fijian Samoa. Samoa have missed six. But they've been able to scramble and make up for that. Even contest as it shows on the scoreline. Taylor Mieloy. Samoan captain with ball in hand.
Samoa will get possession. They get ball and defender at the same time, and uh, physical in this match are Samoa trying to rip the ball clear, but they can't. And now Vidi Vidi, that lovely right foot step. And now Jerry Tua showing his class. Well, that's been knocked down by a Samoa in hand. This is about the third occasion in this game. They've nearly got intercepts, and the hands have come off, and then you have to take these opportunities against Fiji. They're getting the defence here. See how they're running in between, getting two defenders there. What that does is put defenders in passing lanes, and unfortunately for Samoa, Ropati couldn't take it otherwise. He was right in, the big number five for Samoa. Nathungu was the man made there. My apologies, it wasn't actually Jerry Tuwa. So they made a change here, Fiji. There he is, the young, fresh face. Waisia Nathungu takes the ball to the line, then just some footwork. Has Vidi Vidi on the outside, now one-on-one, -on -one, Vidi Vidi drops the shoulder, the ball on the inside. Now Volvo, back to Nathungu who started it, the Samoan player is down. Here comes another try for Fiji. Kalonina Soko gets his third in Vancouver. Great build-up. Passing doesn't get much more pure than that. That was actually very, very beautiful to watch from Fiji. Just the distributions. And it started from that young man, Nathungu. And then look at this power, precision with the pass. Another one out the back door late. And then the last one to set up the try. That is sweet. Samoa Taloa didn't move after he'd made contact. Got the head in the wrong position of the tackle. He's going to be replaced. Just the power here, Carl. With the footwork, the power right there. Takes the hip. Oh, very, very. Pretty to watch with that. That full flight VT like that. Lea Lua comes on in Jersey 7, who scored six tries in Vegas. Conversion was good. Fiji lead 12 5. And the high up and under, right into the middle of the field. And Fiji through Nathungu again. What impact he's made since coming onto the field. Showing the ball, then unloads here. Fiji patrolling down this right hand flank through Domalolo. And Betu Niata in Jersey 4. But now they go out to where Colini Sau is. Colini Sau with a short ball. Real chance for getting back is Alex Samoa. Samoa. Now Alex Samoa. Contact there from Ravovo was good. Shoulder was used. And now Kay. Danny Kay gets the pass out wide. And Samoa. Was that high? Yes, it was on the shoulder. You've got to be stay away from that. Samoa just need to slow it down. Okay, cool. Get out of their own territory. Take it to the set piece line out. But I like the composure under pressure. Very tough as a player running from behind and not to do that Mutonga, he's so strong with his legs but it's outlawed now and Daku Wanga knew that he had given away a penalty immediately there is Taylor Mialoi 26th event 40 tries, 141 goals really is one of the go-to guys for the Samoan side integral to the Samoan team I think earlier on once HSBC 7 series first started Really did stifle his play, being the captain, being the playmaker, but he's found his own confidence. He's playing good footy. Gets the line out into Ropati. They loop around and given off to Danny Kays, the man from the Bay of Plenty region. Little place in New Zealand. So not based in Samoa as Kays, but this man is big. Matunga, just a sweeper. Takes him on. The tackle is good. Samoa with a chance to draw level. Mialoi. Out along the chain from Alex Samoa. Out to now. Leo Lewis just come on the field, throws the ball out to Joe Perez. He's strong, Perez. Has he got enough leg drive? No, he hasn't. The pop of the pass. Samoa with a real chance. Alex Samoa offloads. Pillar Mialoi gets it done. We talk about Colin Sal, And this is the man they needed to go to. Pillar Mialoi brings Samoa back. We just spoke about the confidence this play at the moment. Now we know Fiji are known for their role floats, this is pretty to watch too from Samoa. They go on the outside, Perez makes the initial break, gives it to Alex Samoa, does well. Does Alex to give that last pass to Tilo Mialoi. Here it is here, the big wing of Samoa, striding away, beautiful offload.
Good presence of mind from Alex Armour just to draw on the last defender and Taylor Mealoy. Fit as ever, this is the tight. This to make it 12 all, and I've done just that. Grabs the ribs after the challenge came in from Ibutu Niata. Now, that's been one thing for me that I've got to say this PG inside last year was so much. They didn't give away those penalties and penalties in games has really cost them. Well, I think also just that lost kill. Gareth Braver spoke about it. And kickoff, that's where they've been so dominant. They need this one, Fiji. And they've secured it. And into the contact they go. The ball is set back from Dakuwanga. Fiji out to the experienced players. There you can see it in Kalini Sound now. Nangusa gets it back to his captain, says, let's go out along the other way. And here is Veti Kani. Some footwork and then he offloads. This is beautiful running from Dakuwanga. Another new man. And Nathungu who's really made a good fist of every opportunity that is had in Fiji. will get the penalty. They tap and go. Kalini Sao says take it forward. And so Nangusa does just that. The cut. Then the ball up in the end. Then the footwork. Scrag there. Fiji in possession. They should score. Fiji are gonna. Just like that. In Bitu. Niata scores for Fiji again. They come back from the dead. The one in area they really have worked on is their composure under pressure. And as you said, Willie, being able to execute it when they need it most has been the thing and a hallmark of this Fiji team over the last couple of seasons. You can see here the power when they needed it most. They got the second man there nice and quick. He goes low. Great position from Setariki Potuniata. And is that the winner? Conversion, there's still time for the restart. It is good. They've really got some power players, some big time players up front. Well, they're powerful, they're fast. They've got long limbs and they can just offload at will. But again, kickoffs, Willie. Zamor need to clean this. Fiji is so good at it. Let's see if Fiji can get it. No, flying through the air. And losing it forward was Leo Lure and so more. Ball for Fiji. Why not kick it out? They want to carry on. They want to score another try. And that turnover, that's the problem. When you roll the dice, Lester Seffo has possession. They'll get the penalty. And Samoa now with a real chance. Taking it to the line is Alofipo, one of the new players. Not how it gets up, goes again. Here's this youngster. First chance in Vancouver. Contains and retains possession. Samoa. And to referees time now. Ball along the chain. They've got numbers. They've got it out wide. Here comes Joe Perez. Perez couldn't get it down. What a tackle or push from Nathungu. This is a huge play by Nathungu. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a great save from Sweeper. Joe Perez is in for all money, but look at the makeup speed. He pushes them out. There's no way he gets this down. That is a huge play in the context, not only of this game, but this pull. That is brilliant. One of the smallest players on the field, Nathungu, who came on for Jerry Tuwai. Gets the victory for Fiji. That's not easy to do, Carlton Well, Oh, that's freakish. A lot of people would go around the, in the legs. He thought better of it. It was the right move, and it worked. Well done. Fiji win their second match by 19 to 12 against the great Samoans. Well, what a game of rugby sevens that was. Fiji holding on 19-12. We move to Pool A now. It's England against Chile. And here they come, Tom Mitchell leading out England, Felipe. Brangier leading out Chile. England had a big win. A hard fought win, but an important one. 28 14 over Kenya earlier today. And Chile, they went down 33 0 to the series leaders, South Africa. Alongside me is Gareth Reese. And Gareth, they're no slouches, these Chileans, are they? England are going to be on point here. Yeah, they are. Chile are here by rights of winning the South American competition leading the likes of Brazil and Uruguay. They've got some experienced heads in there and their captain, Brangier, but uh, they played some good rugby down in the US, but didn't get a result. They did get some...